sperm retrieval techniques, there are various sperm retrieval techniques and this is required in patients if the husband is azospermic, means no sperm is coming into the ejaculated semen sample. Secondly, it is also done in some patients in whom there is no ejaculation. They might be ha having ejaculated because when we use an electro ejaculator also and then also the sperm doesn't come, then also we have to do these sperm retrieval techniques on them. Thirdly, if the patient's DFI is very high, the DNA fragmentation index of the sperm and the patient has got history of recurrent IV failures. And in these patients also many times they have to undergo TESA just to in improve the quality of the sample of the sperm. So like what happens in a sperm retrieval technique, the patients are very much inquisitive about it and they are very much stressed out about it. So because they feel that it's a very sensitive area and how these people are going to take out the sperms. So there are basically three gross types of techniques, like three techniques which we can say by which we take out the sperm. One is called TESA. TESA is the least invasive of them all. In that we put a needle inside the testicular area and we take out, we aspirate the sperm out of it. The embryologist checks it in the lab and confirms whether they have got adequate samples or not. Otherwise, we do multiple punctures and take out the sperm. It is done under local anesthesia and it is usually a very less painful procedure. Secondly, we go ahead with TZ. In TZ, we cut the area and we take out, we try to hunt the sperm in the testicular tissue. The tissue is in fact extracted out in a TZ sample and is given to an embryologist and the embryologist processes it out and looks out for the sperms. Thirdly, the procedure is called micro TZ. Micro TZ is a, like a, it's a big boon for couples who have like, they come with reports with no sperms in a FNAC sample or a TZ has been done and no sperms have been taken out. In these kind of couples, they can go ahead with micro TZ. In that, the operating surgeon has got a microscope, like an operating microscope on the eyes. And with that, they hunt for the sperms in your testicular tissue and then they give it to the embryologist. So micro TZ is a boon in patients whom like everybody has said, look, you have to go with donor sperm. But still, they have been able to go with their own sperm with a micro TZ done on them. So obviously, they are very less sperms than micro TZ, but the like benefit of retaining your own genes is there in it. So many patients do opt for micro TZ and it is a good option for patients to retain their own sperm samples.